Welcome back. Like we earlier said, uh, we're going to be shedding light over the summit that took place between His Excellency, the Head of State President Abdel Fattah Sisi, and his Turkish counterpart, uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, in Ankara, in Turkey. And we're very delighted to be having with us live over the phone Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning, good morning. How are, How are you doing, sir? It's a real pleasure to have you here today in the breakfast. Thank you. Uh, if, you, if you please uh, uh, would like, before we start off, we shed the light over the importance of this summit and the content uh, of this summit. A very important visit and it is a sort of covering uh, a lot of efforts in order to restore our normal relations with Turkey. And we, we dealt with the matter wisely. We never uh, take uh, harsh action. And when we try to take an action against uh, some uh, uh, Turkish uh, uh, attitude, we did not cut the relations. We only asked the ambassador to come in, in, in Egypt, and we kept uh, the embassy there in Ankara. And uh, the Turkish government kept their embassy in, in Cairo also. Uh, so uh, then uh, we, we, we changed it on the level of the vice ministers, then the minister, then President uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan came and visited Egypt in uh, last February. Here now this is the, the final step in order to make sure that we are back to normal with the relation between very important two Islamic countries and other countries. Right. Uh, taking a flashback into the history uh, of this uh, uh, relation between the two countries and the bilateral ties, um, uh, how qualified could we take uh, those relations from one point to another? Are we qualified enough on both sides so that we can uh, be working hard, especially the President Abdel Fattah Sisi? As a, as a president, as an Egyptian president, have been very popular with uh, his soft power and soft diplomacy. Uh, one of the renowned yes, presidents uh, worldwide with his uh, soft diplomacy. Yeah, uh, as a matter of fact, we have very strong relations uh, all over the history. And we, we, we know that we have plenty of Egyptian families coming from uh, Turkish origin. Same thing. Vice versa, in, in Turkey there are a big Egyptian community, and they, they have now the Turkish nationality. Uh, and if you uh, look carefully to some Egyptian names, you'll find that it is coming from Turkish origin. I know personally that the head of the Turkish diplomacy in my time, Shamsuddin Harif Mardin, he was Egyptian, and his brother was the uh, assistant minister for agriculture in Egypt, and he became the head of the Turkish diplomacy. And when he retired, he came back to uh, Egypt saying that this is, at the end, it's my country. So uh, uh, things like that. And uh, look around you. We have many, many names of uh, Turkish origin and Turkish families. Uh, over and above, we have very strong trade relations, investment, and bilateral relations in the field of education and culture also. Uh, right. Uh, how do you see uh, the importance of the timing of this visit? Uh, a lot of observers talked about the, smart, uh, the smartness of the timing, especially that you kindly mentioned there was a visit earlier uh, before by the Turkish president to Egypt and uh, a phase with uh, regional developments and crisis in the region and everything. And then exactly at that particular timing, there, wa there is a, uh, comes the visit of the Egyptian president to Turkey. As you will know, our president is leading a very active diplomacy. There isn't one day without talking to his counterpart or uh, receiving them or visiting them, so uh, the Egyptian diplomacy gained the level of the uh, presidential diplomacy, and we are uh, gaining 
of these activities, of course, for uh, strengthening the relation with many, many uh, friendly countries. Now it is a time for Turkey, and Turkey is a very important uh, partner in the Middle East. Of course, I can imagine that uh, many, many uh, subjects of our interest should be uh, discussed in, in such a meeting, such as the problem in Palestine, Gaza, such as the Syrian problem in Iraq. We have uh, uh, some worries. Also, what's happening in Libya, or Sudan, or Somalia. All these uh, problems uh, are a matter of discussion between the two leaders. And I think, of course, that such a visit can help a lot uh, to, to face many, many of these problems. Right. Uh, such a visit could help a lot in, in sorting out the problems. That is an excellent face by Your Excellency. But also, let me ask you, how would this, like you kindly uh, hinted uh, or pointed out uh, to uh, this visit, uh, succeed in uh, maintaining or or um, uh, fix uh, the uh, probably uh, difficulties that or hurdles that came into the bilateral relations between Egypt and Turkey. How is it going to succeed in paving the way for more solid uh, uh, cooperation, uh, solidarities uh, on different fronts, especially that we need it with all the challenges in the region? Uh, and Absolutely. Other... And uh, bilateral yeah. relations. Absolutely, that you uh, rightly said that we are keen to strengthen our relations on the strategic field, on the economy, trade, and the two presidents promises, promised us that the volume of trade will reach $15 billion, which is an eminent uh, volume. Turkey is uh, one of the largest the markets absorbing uh, a very respectable quantity of our exports. Turkey became also a good investor in Egypt, and they declared that they will come with more and more projects in the Suez Canal uh, zone in order to benefit from the uh, geographical position of the Suez Canal and of its ability, because as you well know, that if you produce anything in Egypt, you will be exempted from tax duties anywhere in uh, uh, countries exceeding 2,000 million billion inhabitants in the Arab world. With Europe, we have a free trade area. With Africa, we have another free trade area. So it, it is... Uh, very good that for any investor in, in Egypt, now it is a Turkish investment to benefit from our position in all these markets. Right. On that note, Ambassador uh, Gamal Bayoumi, Your Excellency, you are a former Assistant Foreign Minister. We'd like to thank you so much for talking to us today. And uh, we're going to go to a short break and we'll come to continue the breakfast show. So stay with us.